says you can't have it your way. It's a question asked by the 2017 Mini Hardtop, a sporty compact that allows for a seemingly endless degree of customization. It's also stylish and a blast to drive. There are few rivals that let you have this much fun for this price. Build and price TMV registered. Pros all available engines blend quickness and fuel efficiency, nimble handling helps keep the Mini glued to the road. Lots of available add-ons mean a high degree of personalization, interior looks classy and upscale. Cons ride can be stiff and jittery, especially with larger tires, manual transmission has a vague clutch and shifter, more expensive than most rivals. What's new for 2017 The Mini Hardtop gets slide revisions to standard and optional equipment for 2017. Last year's media package 6.5-inch screen, smartphone app integration and a front armrest, is standard on all hardtops. Adjustable driving modes are no longer standard on the Cooper model, though they can be added back in, while dynamic ambient lighting is now part of the premium package. Finally, a Mini 7 Special Edition debuts with special upholstery and wheels. Review People consider a compact car for many reasons mostly practicality and value. After all, a compact vehicle has a low entry-level price point, is easy to park no matter where you go, and fuel-efficient enough to get you there without blowing next month's budget. Although many compacts are appealing on a logical level, they are often missing elements that prevent a truly emotional connection. If you buy a 2017 Mini Cooper hardtop, though, those elements are fully intact. The 2017 Mini Hardtop is not like other compact cars. It packages the intrinsic strengths of a compact and injects them with a healthy shot of excitement, a rare combination in this price class. Much of the excitement comes from the three available turbocharged engines. The base Cooper's 134 horsepower three cylinder is surprisingly peppy, while the Cooper JCW pumps out nearly 100 more HP. The key for us, though, is the customization factor. The hardtop's affordable base price is really just a jumping off point for a seemingly endless options list, which really allows you to make the convertible be your own. If you want snazzy 18 inch wheels to replace the standard 15 inch rims, you can have that. If you want full leather upholstery, side mirrors painted like the British flag or adaptive suspension dampers to tailor your driving style, you can have all that, too. Just be prepared to pay a little bit extra. Or maybe a big bit extra, depending on how far you go. The mini hardtop is tops for customization and style, but a few other subcompacts might be worth your while to check out. The Ford Fiesta is plenty practical but still reasonably fun to drive, especially if you get the high-octane street variant. The Italian flair of the Fiat 500 can't be ignored, and the energetic Abarth version is sure to put a smile on your face. If you don't mind going slightly bigger, the Volkswagen Golf and Golf GTI, Ford Focus and Focus Street, and Toyota 86 slash Subaru BRZ twins will all fuel your desire for a sporty car with a manageable size. Even with all these strong choices, though, it's hard to ignore the charm and fun offered by the 2017 Mini Hardtop. It is really that good. Body styles, trim levels, and options the 2017 Mini Hardtop is available as a two or four door hatchback. Both body styles are available in base Cooper and Cooper S versions, while the high-performance John Cooper Works, JCW, trim is reserved for the Tador hatch. All Cooper models come standard with 15-inch alloy wheels, an electronic limited slip differential, automatic headlights, automatic wipers, heated mirrors, remote locking, unlocking, keyless ignition, a leather-wrapped tilt and telescoping steering wheel automatic climate control, a cooled glove box, cruise control, high adjustable front seats, a center armrest, leatherette, premium vinyl, upholstery and 60-40 split folding rear seat backs.
Technology highlights include Bluetooth connectivity, smartphone app integration, a 6.5 inch display screen, and a 6 speaker sound system with HD radio, a USB port, and an auxiliary input jack. The Cooper S adds a more powerful engine, a hood scoop, dual center mounted exhaust tips, 16 inch wheels with run flat tires. Regular tires are optional, LED fog lights, sport seats and adjustable driving modes. Additional equipment for the John Cooper Works variant includes 17-inch wheels, Brembo front brakes, a sport-tuned suspension, LED headlights, an even more powerful engine, an aerodynamic body kit, a rear spoiler, a sport steering wheel and special seats with cloth upholstery. The standard suspension is available as a no-cost option for the JCW. Although there are many standalone options, most are bundled into packages. The premium package consists of keyless entry, a dual-pane sunroof and a 12-speaker Harman Kardon audio system. The sport package includes adjustable dampers, 16-inch wheels, 17-inch wheels on the Cooper S, sport seats adjustable driving modes and LED headlights. The technology package bundles a rear-view camera, rear parking sensors, a navigation system and an 8.8-inch display screen. The Y-loaded package combines all three packages, while a separate cold-weather package adds auto-dimming mirrors, power-folding exterior mirrors and heated front seats. Other available features include a head-up display, an automated parking system, and cloth or leather upholstery. Even more personalization is available through a large selection of custom details such as hood stripes, contrasting hardtop roof colors and special interior trim pieces. Power turns and performance regardless of engine or number of doors, the 2017 Mini hardtop comes standard with a 6-speed manual transmission, with hill start assist and automatic rev matching for smooth and simple downshifts while a 6-speed automatic, also with rev matching, is optional. For extra fuel savings, an automatic stop-start feature shuts off the engine while the car is stopped. The base engine is turbocharged 1.5-liter 3-cylinder that develops 134 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. In testing, a Tidor with the automatic transmission recorded a 060 miles per hour time of 7.4 seconds. That's a quick time and second only to the Ford Fiesta Street in the subcompact class. Fuel economy is also impressive, especially considering the available performance. The EPA estimates will get 32 miles per gallon combined, 28 city slash 38 highway, for the Tidor model with the manual while the manual four-door earns 32 miles per gallon combined, 28 city slash 37 highway. Both automatic versions return estimates of 30 miles per gallon combined, 27 city slash 36 highway. The Cooper S is powered by a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 189 horsepower and 207 lb-ft of torque. Steering wheel mounted paddle shifters are available for automatic equipped models. In our testing, a four door S with the automatic sprinted from 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds, just a tick slower than a VW Golf GTI. Fuel economy for the two and four door Cooper S is estimated at 28 miles per gallon combined, 25 city slash 32 highway, with the automatic while the manual is rated at 26 miles per gallon combined, 23 city slash 32 highway. The John Cooper Works variant, solely available on the Tador, ups the output of the turbocharged 2.0 liter to 228 horsepower and 236 lb-ft. We tested a JCW with a manual transmission and achieved a 060 miles per hour time of 6.2 seconds. Mini says an automatic equipped JCW is a few tenths of a second quicker. EP estimated fuel economy is the same as the Cooper S. Safety standard safety features on the 2017 Mini hardtop include dandy lock disc brakes, stability and traction control, front seat side airbags, 
front knee airbags and full-length side curtain airbags. Rear parking sensors and a rear view camera are optional. In government crash tests, the Tador hardtop received 4 out of 5 possible stars for overall protection, with 4 stars for total front crash protection and 4 stars for overall side impact protection. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety awarded the hardtop hatchback its top score of good in the Moderati Overlap and Small Overlap Front Impact Crash Tests, as well as a good score in the Side Impact, Roof Strength and Head Restraint, Whiplash Protection, Tests. In brake testing, several mini hardtops with summer tires have come to a halt from 60 miles per hour between 113 and 116 feet. These stopping distances are good for the class but a little underwhelming given the some aerated tires. However, a convertible Cooper S with Pirelli P0 summer tires came to a stop in an astounding 101 feet. Although we haven't tested a hardtop with all Z's and tires, we expect them to come to a stop about 15 feet longer than those equipped with summer tires. Interior design and special features step into the 2017 Mini Hardtop and you'll find a cabin with materials of a higher quality than those in other small cars. Soft touch plastics coat the doors and dashboard, which can be customized with several different trim coverings. Ambient lighting on the doors changes color depending on which driving mode is selected. The Mini's controls are easy to reach and the toggle switches on the lower part of the center stack are a cool touch. We like the hardtop's easy tread gauges, and the available 8.8-inch central display screen is notable for its sophisticated feature set and exceptionally crisp graphics. Similar to BMW's iDrive, the display is operated by a controller knob on the center console. It takes some time to learn how to use, but overall it's a comprehensive and very useful system. One downside is that when you lower the center armrest, it's nearly impossible to reach the low-mounted infotainment controller. The hardtop's front seats offer firm support and an ideal driving position. Whether you choose the Tidor or the Fordor, though, rear passenger space is pretty tight. Cargo capacity for the Tidor measures a puny 8.7 cubic feet behind the rear seat backs expanding to 34 cubes with those seatbacks folded down. The four-door expands to 13.1 and 40.7 cubic feet, respectively. Even the Tador's numbers actually aren't terrible for the subcompact class, and as we learned from a year-long test of a 2014 Mini Cooper hatchback, the car's boxy shape makes it more versatile than you might think. Driving impressions The 2017 Mini Hardtop's small footprint, low center of gravity and lightweight give it excellent handling characteristics. This is a fun car to drive no matter which engine powers it. Even just zipping around town, it feels playful and engaging, and parking in tight spots is a cinch. Along curvy roads, the hardtop feels taut and tenacious, clawing for grip with rare enthusiasm. The trade-off for its sharp handling, however, is a firm ride quality that borders on harsh, especially with the JCW version or larger wheels specified. Ordering the adaptive suspension dampers for the JCW is highly recommended, as we've found them to noticeably smooth out the ride. We've also noticed that the four-door hardtop, with its longer wheelbase, is a bit more comfortable than the Tador and sacrifices little in the way of performance. Both body styles are relatively quiet at highway speeds, although we've heard interior panels squeak and creak over hard bumps. The base engine provides impressive power considering its diminutive size. It loses some steam at higher RPM, but for most drivers it's a very solid pick. Both turbocharged four-cylinder engines have the mini punching above its class allowing it to keep up with larger cars such as the Ford Focus Street and Volkswagen Golf GTI. The automatic transmission is smooth and shifts quickly, while the manual can be a bit difficult to drive because of its vague clutch action, long throws and imprecise skates. The automatic engine stop-start function can be distractingly rough as it brings the engine back to life after a stop. 
Fortunately, it's easy to disable via a toggle switch, and the car remembers your preference between drives. Summary Read Review Body Styles Performance Safety Special Features Driving Impressions View All. Thank you.